Another climate alarmist myth has been debunked yet again. Although you won't see a ton of reporting on this in the mainstream media, predictions made by leading scientists that Arctic sea ice would vanish by this year have fallen through. According to a book written by Professor Peter Wadhams based out of Cambridge University, sea ice was supposed to have completely disappeared by mid-decade. But measurements show that there was 31% more ice this year than in September of 2012. That's an extra 1.09 million square kilometers of ice. Wadham has continually changed his predictions depending on yearly measurements. In 2007, he predicted that all of the ice would be lost by 2013, and then changed that prediction in 2012 to 2016. Actually, this year, the most rapid refreeze ever recorded has occurred, with the ice growing 1.05 million square kilometers in just three weeks. Here, you can see the difference in these images. You can see that ice has grown significantly since the same time in 2012. We've been told time and time again that doomsday is coming because climate is changing. Except what all of these false claims really point to is that climate changes are very difficult to predict and they're erratic. This is obvious even just looking at the data sets from 2007 to 2016. There's no denying that sea ice volumes have been declining since 1985, but that doesn't mean that this is a man-made phenomenon, that we should have to pay guilt taxes for it, or that we need to start over worrying. Nobody denies that the climate is changing. It's been doing as much for billions of years. And if you take a look at the trends on the geologic timescale, they took hundreds if not thousands of years to develop. In fact, many scientists even agree that anthropogenic climate change is real. It's by how much humans contribute that's questioned. And that's an entirely reasonable and level-headed stance. We can visibly see that temperatures haven't been controlled by humans for the majority of that time. And they, along with CO2 levels, have been much, much higher in the past. It's right to question these things. You know, we're always told that the science is settled on catastrophic climate change, but in reality, science is never settled, and alarmist arm waving helps nothing. It looks like we can file this one in the discredited folder. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Hey, thanks for watching. Have you had a chance to sign my petition at beerfreedom.ca? If not, click the link below and enter your information to show that you stand for free trade in Canada.